Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you all about the new updates that are currently being developed for Google Meet. Since teachers all around the world have been using Google Meet in their classes, uh, there have been a number of recommendations and suggestions that they've given Google about ways that they can improve Google Meet for education purposes. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you about some of the upcoming releases that are currently being discussed. Now, it is important to know that Google, um, on their list of upcoming G Suite releases, does give the statement that this list is uh, not an official commitment and it is subject to change. But I think it's still worth seeing the things that they are in the process of developing. So the first thing you'll see at the top is meeting moderation controls. So the description of what that means is uh, giving hosts more control. So being able to mute, present, uh, invite only, and more. And again, all of these you'll see are in development. Another thing is being able to dial out to an international number. And this next one I know will be very popular because one of the things that they're looking at adding is a background blur um, or the ability to replace the background with either images or videos. And they're showing that this is uh, being developed in both mobile and desktop. And I know I've done a couple of videos on how to do that currently. Um, and one of the big ones I get is how do you do this on mobile or how do you do this on Chromebook? And it looks like they are working on being able to do that in both of them. They're also planning on trying to create breakout rooms. So that will let large meetings uh, split into smaller forums to make parallel progress, kind of like they have in uh, Zoom or Teams. They're also working on cloud noise cancellation, so intelligently filtering audio for more effective meetings. The digital whiteboarding. I know this is a really big one because I've got some videos on how to use Jamboard and Meet together, and that's been a really popular one. Um, but it looks like they are working on digital whiteboarding with Jamboard and Meet integration, which I know a lot of teachers will really appreciate. Another thing is hand raising. So uh, being able to raise attention to yourself without interrupting the meeting. And again, I know that there are extensions uh, that allow you to do that, but this will be fully integrated into Meet. They're also looking at automatically adjusting video in low light conditions for mobile users. And I know these next two will get a lot of teachers excited. There's a polling and Q&A functionality. So the polling says engage meeting participants and live stream viewers with polling and Q&A capabilities. And then under Q&A, it says set up Q&A for an upcoming meeting, participate, manage, and review the Q&A post meeting. So while there's no guarantee that any of these will make future updates, I'm really excited and encouraged by the fact that Google is listening to educators and trying to implement these changes that will make it easier for teachers to teach online and easier for kids to learn online. And of course, I will keep you posted with any of the updates as Google announces them for all these functionalities. And to make sure you never miss another video with any of these updates, please click that subscribe button below and click on the little notification bell so that you receive a notification every time a new video is posted. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.